Did you know there's a secret ending? Yeah, neither did I. That's what we're gonna see today, and unfortunately I borked my other file so hard it's actually impossible to do it, so we're gonna start again. We sold two fish, we hit level one, we need to catch one mustard fish. That should be easy, we're gonna turn you into bigger bait that the mustard fish will in fact eat, and they're very aggressive, as all mustard is. That's worth a lot of money, we're gonna go ahead and sell that, we're gonna get a new quest to unlock the new rod, which is this one. Then we're gonna put the diving lure on that for $300, and back to fishing. Basically, I need to level up. You need to level up to see the ending. Which for now just means catching a lot of fish. $200 each and some experience. Can't go wrong with that. Get in the store. I do have $1,350 though. More than enough for the Great Rod. And I think that means I can cast, yes, quite a bit further. Which means I get a new mustard fish. Which by itself is $450. Plus a lot of experience. The experience is really what we're after today. But we also need the money to get the experience. Uh, this is a Grumper. $800. So we'll go ahead and buy scouting and also diving lure. That gives us a bigger range to catch even more idiots. I'm actually doing pretty well so far. Like I've been playing for no time at all and I've already made this much money. Okay, I also just caught, uh, I'm not entirely sure what this one is. Probably not a cuttlefish. That's a snobfish. But I did also get bombs and rockets. Oh, there's a hat and I can't even get the hat yet because I can't cast far enough. Well, we're, uh, we're level 5 now, so the more we level up, the more fun stuff we're going to get to catch better fish. And we finally caught one of these. $400. I've actually caught a lot of the boring basic fish, so I'm actually running out of fish to catch suddenly. Okay, pretty sure this is idiot number 303, so we can sell them. New reward, new quest. I did just catch another kingfish, so that leveled me up to level 6. Okay, we finally got some bait. We got some very aggressive bigger fish out there, so perfect. Not a mustard fish, but I'll take this because it's also valuable. But also, I'm going to take this $800 fish and cast him down because not much can bite him. And we're going to... Yeah, I forgot that could happen. I wanted you. You were the fish I wanted. So we kind of just wasted an $800 fish, but what else is new? Now we're going to cast another $800 fish out and he's going to drop. We're going to pull it away from the little fish and land right by the big orange idiot who's going to get very happy and bite. Now we've got a big orange idiot who's worth a fortune. Otherwise known as $2,500. Get in the shop. Okay, so I just restarted my game to make all the fish spawn in. So here's the second mustard fish after five seconds. That earned me a thousand dollars now i need to catch two swoopers and that experience is invaluable uh, i just spent ten thousand dollars on the uh, power rod which we now need to buy new things for and i'm just going to take scouting for now the other ones i don't like but we can cast that much further so we have a chance to catch new and valuable fish we just need to work our way up the bait line because those are going to attack pretty much everything i put in the water but this will turn into bigger bait so i can catch them i do still need to catch round fin i just don't know what they are yet fifty eight hundred dollars get in my wallet there's also one weird the green fish i want the green fish might get him here okay whatever this is great gawker eighty four hundred dollars and look at all that experience once we start getting into the better fish experience is gonna fly and also the money we're gonna be rich in no time i really need to get rid of the yellow idiot he's eating everything of mine but pretty soon there's gonna be nothing left but the big yellow idiot because i caught everything else and they turned all of these into skeletons just to annoy me Okay, I finally got a hold of the medium-sized guy, so now I should be able to turn this into the jumbo yellow. Come on, there we go. Think, yep, got another green one. These are definitely valuable, so that's going to get me a long ways towards my boat. I've also just hooked one of these for, I think, the first time. This is a Galena. Galena, $900. Okay, the round fin of these purple, elegant-looking fish. Come on, bombs. Let's bomb something fun. Perfect. Scared away the valuable fish. Okay, if I'm kind of careful, I can probably catch that big orange fish down here. Oh, he was so close. Okay, this should have him perfect. $11,000 and tons of experience. I think we also unlocked a new rod. But we're going to buy a boat because now we can catch all sorts of fish. I mean, I can probably get tons of experience and leveling just doing this. And there's a little goldfish right below me. Why didn't you bite? We'll go for him now. Okay, there's too many fish in the way. Okay, we got four out of five fish on board. That took 10 seconds, $3,600 and lots of experience. If I keep casting little fish out, eventually something good will bite because that'll be all that's left. Like that. I don't know what this is. Don't bite that. I need this fresh and full of vigor and money. Well, two thirds of the fish is worth $2,500. That's more than all of me is worth. Might be able to get a gold one here. What are these worth? $3,200. Okay, also just did a lucky cast, managed to get whatever this one is. I think it's pretty valuable because it was pretty far down there. 18,000, get in a boat. One more fish and I'll hit level 10, which means I'm starting to make pretty good progress. 
And that unlocks new rod upgrades. Like a bait guard, small fish are unable to eat large bait, yes please. So when I cast this out, small fish can eat this, only medium can. Now it's much easier to work my way up the bait line and catch the bigger fish for more experience. In fact, I can kind of just hover around down here waiting for their adequate size fish to come and bite me. Still waiting on a mustard fish, but I will also take this for $18,000, get in the boat. And this is the deepest we've gone for sure. And there's definitely a big shark, which is going to now steal this. Thank you. Just what I wanted. Uh, I don't know what happened. The shark put me out. I think I unhooked and whatever. I have this now and I also unlocked the big hook because the shark did that. I'm also maybe going to buy the better rod. I was going to think about that for a second and then it kind of just whatever. That's going to come with scouting and we're also going to do bait guard. Managed to get this orange idiot out of his mob of friends. I think this is the queen fish because the rest are kingfish. Yep, $2,500 getting a boat. So that whole school of fish is actually worth quite a bit. I just need to try and get the red one out, which isn't going to be super easy to do. Okay, I'm going to take a risk right now. I'm going to spend $5,000 on the biggest hook to see if I can get some kind of big fish from way down there. The bait guard is on, so I don't think any of these small fish can bite. You might be able to. I'll take you. You have to be pretty valuable though, because it costs $5,000 to do this, but we did get a lot of experience. How does it feel to be profit, idiot? Perfect, we're getting into deep water. Oh yeah, give me you. Gulper thing? Not you. You? Anyone? Not the purple idiots. Well, maybe, maybe a purple idiot. I don't know what this is. This is Leo Fish, 6600. I guess the hook could come in handy. It is $5,000, but at least with that, I can chain the fish together. There we go. It finally worked. Now he's chasing it too, but I'll take this for now because that's just big experience. And now this fish is sitting at the surface for some reason. I'm not going to complain with that because you're 34 grand. I'm going to go ahead and get what's called the good boat so we can go even further out to sea now to catch even bigger, better fish. Basically, I want the big fish who's right here somewhere. There you are. Don't be shy. Oh, come on. Come closer. Come on. Yo. What? You're supposed to bite the hook. Is that not big enough bait? Well, whatever. $3,400. Okay, I managed to catch one of the clownfish. Pretty sure these are decently valuable too. And experience. Year 6500. Get in the boat. Okay, we're going to risk it again. We're going to go down super deep. Go around the fish. Hopefully catch the big whale. The hardest part is trying to go around everything that's not cake got him. This will be worth the experience. The bigger the fish, the better. And $85,000. And I think we leveled up and then some. Get in the boat. Okay, I got the red skitter. Finally. $12,000. And we unlocked something else. 14. Our levels are going up super fast now. So I think that Tremble was that deep sea idiot I found way down there that I actually avoided. I was correct. I'm not going to risk throwing them in the boat. I'm going to go home and sell because I need money. Leo fish, $6,600. There's also the puffer fish. Might as well catch one of these while I'm here. Oh, these only worth $1,600. So I'm going to sell everything for thirty five dollars and I have uh, two quests now because of my leveled up so I can get the experience even quicker. Okay, this time I'm kind of going to go for the shark, which I think is still down here somewhere. Yeah, he's right below me. I can see him on the mini-map. There we go. Don't I have my hook on? I'm pretty sure I'm going to get him. I was sure I had my hook on. Maybe I didn't. Okay, so we need to catch another big fish and then have the shark bite after that. So we'll see what kind of fish we're trading up for. Actually, you? You're not worth a ton and I don't know if you're even big enough. One of the green fish I think would work if it uh, wants to bite my lure. Okay, I did catch an orange thing. That thing. There we go. Now we've caught the shark. This would be good experience and money. You were $64,000 and I unlocked something. Had another good deep cast uh, and I've got big bait on, so I have the potential to catch a pretty big fish here. Tempted to get you, but you're kind of boring at the same time. Where's that other big idiot that floats around here? I know he's in the neighborhood. All right, guess we're settling for this guy. Haven't caught one of these yet anyway, so just money and experience in the bank. I just realized I can uh, stack the improved crank a whole bunch of times. It's only $3,500 each, so now I can fish ever quicker. Don't remember what it takes to catch the uh, light bulb fish, but whatever it is, it's not the bait that's on my hook. Uh, I did just find a hat, so I think I actually have to wear this for now. But it's always fun when you find your first hat. I'm also going to use the bomb to scare away some of them, because I need you by yourself or one of you by yourself. So I do think I've kind of finally got these guys where I wanted. I at least got one of the little ones out of the way. That's not a scissor, I don't think. That's a baby scissor that's still valuable. So for the swordfishes, I recall, yep, you had to catch a puffer fish. It would expand the swordfish spears it, and you get that. $180,000. Well, since I have the money, let's buy the dark boat. $360,000, which leaves us a little broke, but it's very quick. And can take us out to deeper waters, which is kind of where we need to be. 
Okay, we're getting into some definitely different variety of fish out here. The clownfish is worth nothing if it's a skeleton, as it turns out. And we now have max size bait and the giant hook, so I'm just going to throw it out here to see what we happen to find way down here. I'll even take one of these for now. Pretty sure I'm making a profit. I do want some of those as well, because I know those are rather special fish. This one's worth, I don't know how much. Okay, let's see if we can catch the big monstrosity of a fish that's somewhere right down below us. Not you. I think they're looking this way. They're very aggressive. Okay, there's the big one. The little one's just going to have to go on standby for a little bit. So that brought me up to level 24 all by itself. And I'm pretty sure with Chompy, we've got to let it go. And then the other one sticks around. Okay, that seems to be the case. Uh, I think I just need a bigger hook or something to be able to get the other fish now. I don't really remember how this works, but this fish is going to be pretty annoying. Okay, you get in here. We'll cast further out to try and get some medium bait or something on there eventually. Or he'll just go ahead and break the hook and leave forever. Either way, level 24, that was super easy because it's super experienced fish. So there we go, up to level 32, about four levels to catch just one idiot. You can get in the boat this time, I need the money. And I've got this one again, there's even more levels. Also, okay, we got this one finally. So there is also good experience, but also 34 grand. Uh, and I just realized I've unlocked swimming and that's kind of where I need to be right now because I can grab fish. So I can swim down, grab a fish, come back to the surface, drop it on the boat if I want. Which can make things a little bit easier or harder depending on uh, what it is I want to grab. So I just realized I had an easier way to do this the entire time. Because I can actually sort of just edit the game files and give myself say 10 million dollars or level 50 if I want to. Which means I can also buy the biggest boat for 1.5 million and then I can cruise to whatever part on the map I want to. What I still need though are sonars so I need to do quests or I can just keep changing the value of things until I get what I want or the game breaks. I did give myself a rather nice hat collection. Quest fish are colored red on the radar, that's one of my very favorite. So while I'm at it, I'm going to buy the master rod, just sort of because I can, but also because I'll probably need some of this. So just like that, I spent 2.2 million dollars, but we're not quite there yet. Okay, finally turned things on until I could get my beloved sonar, which I very much need. Now I can see what's done there in glorious HD, because there's one in particular I'm looking for. So it's going to take a second to find it, but I'm just going to cruise along until I happen to see what I'm looking for. Right below me might actually be what I'm looking for, so I'm going to swim down and see. Going to be a little bit hard to find because I don't really know <laughs> how to orient myself once I'm down as a cat. So I think if I go down right about here, that should be good. And then I don't know the depths or anything. We're ahead or behind the fish I'm looking for. The dragon might be in the way. I'm quite sure that was what I was looking for. I just couldn't find it once I was in the water because it's hard once you're swimming as a cat. Okay, it's getting closer to the surface now. It shouldn't be that deep going down. Hopefully, hopefully right here. Oh, wait, that was it. That was it. So this is what I'm looking for. This is Josie, the rarest fish in the game. You can only catch it once. So if you do, don't sell it for the million dollars. I know that's tempting. What you want to do is ride that fish. And you just keep on riding that fish. You don't let go. Josie's one of a kind, so you hold on tight. And then we just keep going and going and going past all the other weird exotic fish that are right out at the boundary, which is that. And just like that, we've broken the boundary. We've gone far beyond, way out beyond where we can normally go or even cast. Uh, until the point where the fish abandons us and we get dropped off back. Well, that for sure used to be a thing for the secret ending. I guess it's not a thing anymore. Just to be sure that I didn't do that wrong somehow, we are going to give that one more try. I found Josie. It said don't let go, even though I did for a second. I worked very, very hard to be able to ride Josie. I'm going to get my ride. Josie's going to take me out of here and we're going to find some remarkable secret ending that should still be here. Eventually, we should cruise out of the map. I think we've already gone way beyond where we're supposed to be able to go. There are still fish here, but I don't know if you can cast this far. I really doubt it. We've been going for a while. And suddenly that let go and we reset. So I guess the secret ending doesn't work anymore. So that's a huge fail and waste of my time. The end.